Hello and welcome back. Uh, today we're going to do another uh, Moon Eagle Academy video and today we're going to be focusing on cleansing and purification. So there are a lot of different techniques um, and different spiritual communities and traditions to help cleanse and purify our energies. Now why this is important, I like to think of this like metaphysical hygiene. So just like we wash our hands all the time, we bathe regularly, hopefully, we brush our teeth and do things to take care of our physical integrity, we also want to do that with our energy and our spirit. And also just to clear out any stray energies that we pick up to disentangle ourselves from other people's stuff and from any other energies or entities that we may encounter in our day-to-day -day lives um, when we're out and about in the world. So there, these are usually very simple uh, techniques or rituals, small, simple. You always want to keep it small and simple. And one of the most common things that and just about everyone's heard of it is smudging. And that's basically lighting um, some form of wood or herb and, you know, moving the smoke around to sort of cleanse and remove anything that we're carrying around with us. And a lot, the most popular one is sage. I um, use Palo Santo, and so you can get little sticks of this at usually metaphysical stores where you can get sage bundles, or you can even sometimes make your own. And basically, I will just light this up and, you know, just kind of go over the body and around your form, you know, try and get all the way around you. And, you know, just be present and also have an intention set that you are using the smoke to cleanse you with. Um, so that's one of the most simplest ways to do that. Every time I come into my office, um, even before I open the space and call in the directions, I will take the Palo Santo around and smudge. Unless, of course, I have someone coming to the office who has an issue with smoke. If they have an issue with smoke, um, I also have like a liquid sage kind of uh, thing. And this is basically, you know, made up of alcohol, distilled water, and then essential oils um, of different plants. So, you know, I can take and do the same thing. I can just spritz around, go all around, I can go all the way around. And so it, it's good to have several different ways because as I said, some people might have issues with their breathing and if they can't have any sort of smoke or incense going on around them, you can also use sound. So you can use something like a singing bowl. And I'm not going to do this too much because it might overwhelm the microphone. But you can do that, use the same. Uh, more popular for sound cleansing is a rattle. And again, it's just a matter of having intention to shake things loose and to cleanse. So the most important thing is intention, obviously, because there are also rituals that use none of these tools, none of these methods, something like the Kabbalistic cross, which I've made a mini, uh, another video of that I you know, put up here um, in the playlist. And you really just want to get focused and set some time aside to regularly do this. It's really important. And that way you can keep on top of your own energy, how you're expressing your energies, what you're allowing into yourself, what you want to be about. So let me think if there's anything else. Oh, yes. So that said, um, there's a couple different, um, if you're going to use a smudging, or an incense method, there's a couple things, or if, you know, if you're going to use even um, a liquid smudge, um, things like Palo Santo, um, it's used a lot in South America for smudging, sage, obviously, cedar wood is another one, um, frankincense and myrrh, that's used a lot in um, a lot of Christian traditions, it's burned as incense, um, 
in churches and temples. Sandalwood is used a lot in the East as well. Um, and those are just a few of them. Copal resin is also another one that's used in a lot of um, different um, indigenous traditions. So find something that works for you. You know, if you're going to use something that is engaging the sense of smell, make sure you like the scent. <laughs> Otherwise, you won't do it. Um, like I said, I tend, I really love the smell of Palo Santo. I'm not so um, enamored of sage. I think it's too heavy. Um, and just like you would do your yourself, you can all, like I said, you can do the space. Like I always smudge the office every single time. Um, and it's really important, you know, if you're going to be doing a lot of work or just even in general to occasionally do this. Oh, the other thing you can do is take salt baths. So you can use salt as a cleansing agent. So you can take some Epsom salt, maybe even mix in some sea salt and take a nice hot salt bath on occasion to allow yourself to like slough off uh, any sort of extra energies, take off any negativity that you've been carrying around with you. And that's it. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. I love your questions. They help inspire me to keep creating more videos for you guys. And until next time, peace and blessing. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. I hope you liked it. If you want to help support the channel, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. If you'd like to support my work, uh, there are links to my website down below where you can book sessions with me or simply leave a PayPal donation. You can also join my Patreon community for extra perks like weekly prayer ceremonies and monthly group healing events. If you can't afford to do that, you can always just show your support by simply liking the video, leaving a comment, and sharing it on social media. Until next time, peace and blessings. Thank you.